Are you ready for some good news? In Christ, you aren't an improved version of the old you. You're a new person altogether. And here's today's text. It's 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. We misuse the word new in the English language. I've moved to a new house a few years ago. And that's what I would say, but it's just a figure of speech. The house was built in the 70s. It's not new. It's just new to me. When Paul says anyone in Christ is a new creation, he means really new, brand new, as in didn't exist before, a new type of creature. No one has described this newness better than C.S. Lewis in his famous Mere Christianity. He writes, For mere improvement is not redemption, though redemption always improves people even here and now, and will in the end improve them to a degree we cannot yet imagine. God became man to turn creatures into sons, not simply to produce better men of the old kind, but to produce a new kind of man. It's not like teaching a horse to jump better and better, but like a turning a horse into a winged creature. Of course, once it's got its wings, it will soar over fences, which could never have been jumped, and thus beat the natural horse at its own game. There may be a period while the wings are just beginning to grow when it cannot do so, and at that stage the lumps on the shoulders, no one could tell by looking at them that they're going to be wings, may even give it an awkward appearance. You see, in Christ, you aren't a better person than you were. You are a child of God, a new sort of creature who is infused with the Holy Spirit himself. A lot of the old you may seem, say, seems to hang around, old fleshly desires, old habits and propensities, and your physical body hasn't been made totally new. You'll get that one day in heaven. But spiritually, you're a new creature. You're really, truly new, and that's the gospel. That's today's Daily Devotional, and if you'd like to get more on this subject, go get the whole message. It's free at SharingLight.org.